Maybe you didn't look where you're going. It's not so bad, Ryan. It's only, uh, only books. You could have smashed a whole cart full of IVs. It's not the books. No? What is it? DJ, what else? Aha! Uh -huh. The uh, Rocky Road of Romance. Well, I don't find it particularly funny. Well, I, uh, I'm not making fun. One minute, we're laughing, we're joking, we're having the best of the times. The next minute, he comes at me like a tornado. I mean, you should have seen him a minute ago. You know, Ryan, you and I have to get our acts together. What do you mean? I mean we're spending too much time with people who don't make us happy. Well, it sure looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah, we don't need any more hippo thunder, right? Hi. Hi. So, uh, what do you say we do something about it? You're on. DJ sure in for a session with me. Good girl. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Doctor? Well, if it isn't the elusive Mr. Finelli. Good news. Uh, plans have changed. I'm available if you're still interested. Oh, I'm interested. Well, good. Uh, you like baseball? We go to Yankee games. Season's almost over. Oh. How about dinner at my place instead? Your place? Hmm. Good. Eight o'clock? Mm-hmm. Perfect. See you then. Can I ask you a favor? What is it? Well, since you and Finelli are kind of tight, I figured that maybe you could get him to write a story on me. On my threads. I mean, people could dig it. Yeah, and I could dig seeing you on time tomorrow. Good night. Threads. Are you uh, getting that from everyone on staff? Every other one. I'm sorry. Look, I would like to personally apologize for Finelli's column. I mean, from someone who enjoys his privacy, I can imagine what you're going through. I thought you preferred the limelight. No, that's just an ugly rumor. As a matter of fact, when they dedicated this wing to the memory of my father, the uh, the press made it very difficult for me. I mean, it was good publicity for the hospital, but personally, I could have done without it. Well, it's done now. There's nothing I can do about it. Maybe not. But I want to ensure that no one else on my staff is ever again put in such an awkward position. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I want to return this to you. What is it? It's your report for the budget meeting. It's very impressive. Mm, talk's cheap. Well, running a hospital isn't. However, I want you to know that I'm, uh, I'm going to go to bat for you in the meeting. Really? Yeah. Your emergency response time is excellent. But I think it'd be a lot better, and if it costs a few more bucks, like you say in that report, I want to help. Great. I also want you to know that my door is always open to any members of my staff. Bye-bye. Bye, Dr. Coleridge. You mean goodbye? Wait, 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 wait. We haven't finished here yet. Now just... Where are you going? I'm just gonna go home and pack. And from now on, I'm on vacation. Jill, Jill, honey. You can't do this to me. Not now. Well, watch me, Frank. Oh, good, Jill. I'm glad you're here. I want to talk with you. Well, wherever she was going, it looked important. Oh, yeah, it is. It's called a vacation. I didn't know the two of you were going away. Well, two of us aren't. The one of her is. Alone? To think things over. But I, I don't understand. Your campaign is about to start. Oh, no. Well, I, I couldn't possibly let my campaign get in the way of her vacation. Now, could I? Where's she going? Who knows? 
Well, I guess she's upset about all of this because you want Max, you want her to give up Max as a client, right? Yes, yes. That was thoughtless of me, wasn't it? She'll come around, Frank. I mean, if that's what stands between you and this nomination, she'll, she'll just have to. Damn it! Every time I turn around, the Bujack has his hand in my life. But I'll tell you something, Maggie. I'm going to get this nomination. Whether Jill refuses to budge or not, I'm going to get the nomination. I know that. I mean, you're the best man for the job, and the party knows it. Problem is, we need to... We need to project a happy home life. <laughs> Especially after that... That mudslinging campaign after the Senate race. I, I want her by my side. Right now, I need her by my side. She knows that. She's gonna go away for a few days, think things through, and come back and be ready to help you. Yeah? Well, she better not be long, because there's a big party dinner next week. All the big honchos are gonna be there. They're gonna be looking for Jill. It's gonna be a big test. Oh, that is important. Look, I'm gonna go talk to Jill now. Maybe I can work things out somehow. Thanks, Maggie. It's my pleasure. <laughs>